On the day the government has published guidelines on curbing children's smartphone use, one London school has gone a step further by calling for an amnesty. Some pupils at the Michaela Community School in Wembley have handed in their smartphones for six months, with teachers providing discounted brick phones that are not connected to the internet. Sarah Harris reports. It's become known as the I generation. Teenagers spending hours on their phones rather than engaging in the world around them. It's a concern for parents and teachers alike. Different schools in London have different policies when it comes to their pupils and their mobile phones. Some insist that they're turned off during class time, others ban them from the school grounds. But this school have taken it one step further. Miss, can I hand in my phone? Yes, Here please, at the Michaela you? Community School in Wembley, they're holding a smartphone amnesty. Some agreeing to give up their devices for six months. Maybe next time we'll think about keeping it until the end of your exam. I believe that although I might have um, short-term pain, it's for the long-term gain. It's also allowed me to get better quality sleep and spend more time with my family because I'm not constantly worried about putting up this perfect image online on the internet. When you get likes, it will give you a notification and when you hear that, you will start reflecting on that rather than reflecting on your homework. The school does offer basic phones at a subsidised price to encourage a move away from the 24-7 internet. We sell these phones at school for £10. We, we buy them for 14 we sell them subsidised for £10 uh, and the reason is because parents love the convenience. Uh, they don't want their child to give up their phone completely because they want to be able to get in touch with their child. You can text them, you can ring them with a brick phone, but what it doesn't allow your child to do is get involved in the murky and disturbing world of Snapchat and Instagram. These days children are getting bullied and abused. These students are leading the way. Now classes are being offered to parents who want a family iPhone detox too. Many mental health professionals welcome the time out as a first step. It's giving those children an experience of not having their phones at their side all the time and they're going to have to get used to that and build up some resilience to be bored sometimes and to feel frustrated sometimes and not to have that instant gratification that the phone normally offers. So it's a good start, but as time goes on, you'd want to reintroduce that and give them the skills to moderate themselves, to learn to self-regulate. It'll be a hard sell for some teenagers to give up the complex and high-tech world of the internet on their phones, but these students say it simply made their lives better. Sarah Harris, BBC London News.